multiplexers and here's a angry sick face you know he's sick cuz he's green huh uh, yeah I'm sick so don't mind my voice um okay multiplexer this is a multiplexer it's not a trapezoid it's a multiplexer and what a multiplexer does is it takes more than one input and turns it into one output now the whole thing acts as kind of a giant switch so depending on some conditions that we'll talk about soon um, one of your inputs will be routed to output so it can either be your first one so it'll go boop 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 like that or it could be this one your second input so it'll go boop 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 or this one boop 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 so it can be any one of these inputs that gets routed through the multiplexer and tossed out as your output it's kind of like yeah like a switch or like a NIF statement or whatever whatever you want it just takes one of these inputs and turns it into one output so the way that it does that is based on conditions called select lines select lines and this is where I got really confused with multiplexers is what the hell were select lines um, select lines are conditions let's call them A and B let's name the inputs too I0, I1, I2 I3. So depending on what A and B are, it'll either toss out I0 into the output, or I1 into the output, or I2 into the output, or I3 into the output. And the way it decides this is... Uh, well, I'm pretty sure the hardware doesn't use a truth table, but we can use a truth table. So let's say A, B, I0, I1, I2, I3, 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, 1, 0. You know what? I'm on a computer. I can control Z that. Isn't technology terrific? Okay. So if A and B are 0, we want to just actually just pump out our first input. It's, we're just going down the list. So here we have our first input. So, or yeah, first input. <laughs> I'm so sick. I meant first condition. Here we have our first condition. So we're pumping out our first input. Here we have our second condition. So we're pumping out our second input. Here we have our third condition. So we're pumping out our third input. And here we have our fourth condition. So we're pumping out our fourth output. Now, if you have an 8 to 1 MUX, it's the exact same thing, except that instead of iterating down the list of two binary, of two binary bits, you're iterating down a list of three binary bits. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Oh, yeah, control Z, I keep forgetting. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. See, just like that. Control Z, control Z, control Z. I love it. Okay, so again, this is our first condition. What happens when A and B are zero? Oh, we're putting out our first input. But wait, what happens when A and B are zero and one? That's our second uh, condition. So we pump out our second input. I'm gonna do this. These are straight lines. <laughs> All right, the dashes mean that they don't get output. It's literally, it's nothing. It's not zero, it's nothing. Nothing gets output only the X's get output. Alright, so now we have our third condition, 1 and 0. So which output gets tossed out? It's our third output. Now we have our fourth condition, 1 and 1. Which output gets tossed out? Our fourth output, our fourth input. And that's pretty much it. Um, in the uh, in an assignment I got, we had to construct a full adder with multiplexers. And that's actually a pretty good exercise. I'm not going to go through it in detail, but 
you basically have two multiplexers, one that deals with carry, one that deals with sum, and then for your inputs you're going to only have ones and zeros, and for your select lines you're going to have A and B, which can only be zero and one anyway, right? And it will choose what the sum is based on A and B, and it'll choose what the carry is based on A and B out of a list of zeros and ones and zeros and ones. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that my voice was bearable and this wasn't too boring. Um, leave questions in the comments if you like. I've essentially become an expert on multiplexers after I was so confused with them. Um, so yeah, good luck and thanks again for watching.